All right, so we often get asked, why do we wait until May to really get the camper out, get it dewinterized, do that sort of a thing? Let me show you why. So as of two days ago, the ground was brown and everything was kind of nice. And we were at almost like 60 degrees. And all of a sudden the temperature dropped and we're left with this. Fresh snow on the ground and we've got far less than southern parts of Minnesota or northern parts of Minnesota. But yeah, yesterday it was lightning and thundering while the snow was blowing, and here's what we're left with. They're scampy, all covered in snow. And it's about, I don't know, it's obviously below freezing out here. So that is why we wait to dewinterize. Hopefully that helps answer some questions for you guys. Oh, there you have it, folks. And uh, <laughs> that's the reason why we don't get to get our camper out as early as we would honestly like to. But don't worry, Scampy's gonna be coming along here pretty soon. We're also gonna have some other videos out of, uh, we're gonna try a uh, really cheap way of actually getting ourselves an awning for our camper. So we'll see how well that works. We'll take you guys with us. I thought I'd give you a little before, before the camper, before Scampy is cleaned out, how it kind of looks from the winter. So here we go. So she's messy. A lot of this stuff we've just kind of been pulling out and setting out. There's a lot to do before we get everything all the way cleaned up and drawers put back in and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it kind of looks like a tornado came through, but pretty soon it'll look nothing like this. Yay! Well, folks, until next time, God bless.